Shalom Akim. We the brothers from the Essay Barrier Camp on our way to the battlefield to teach the words of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Bashim Awashah. Blessed with another week to teach this beautiful word. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Salutations to all you Akim through the four corners of the earth that's preaching this word in sincerity and the truth. And Shalom to all you believers that believe on this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to you. I'm the brother Manatsuzak and I got with me. I'm the brother Shamar. You know, and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, we've been blessed with another week to teach this Yapal word, you know, which Yapal is a Hebrew word for um, beautiful, you know, so Lord's will, this lesson be edifying. And we're going to keep the spirit going as we do with the in-transit lessons. We're one day closer to our enemy Esau's downfall, and we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah's return on the earth, you know, which is second coming. We highly anticipate that, that time, which we're close. As the signs tell you that um, when you see these things come to pass, lift up your head because you know your redemption is off nigh. What are the things that we're seeing coming to pass? The prophecies that's spoken about throughout the scriptures. As the scriptures tell you, the testimony of a Mashiach is the spirit of prophecy. So through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we've been we're seeing the signs that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is close to getting his glory on the earth. Because he died and finished his course 2,000 years ago, he laid down his life and became the ultimate sacrifice for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect to be adopted, adopted back as the sons of Yahweh once again. So through the blood of Yahweh Shai, we have received the mercies of the Lord, you know. So what he did was very, a very mighty and great work that the Lord gave him to do, put him on the earth to do, and he fulfilled his course. And Lord's will, we on on that same path to fulfilling our course, you know, to be joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai and receive the inheritance that he's received of the Father. So we're just going to get scriptures and Lord's will. This lesson be edifying. I'm going to start off with this, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 17, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So we know that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through the Spirit, you know? Because, like, you can't just tell as far as uh, face value, you know, if a, if a Jake is an Israelite, you know, because some, you know, confusion of faces. You might see some brothers that may look like a different nation, but in the spirit, they're Israelite because it's it's the spirit that bears witness. Yep. You know, they have the quality, the attributes and qualities of an Israelite. You know, because you can't. First and foremost, you're not going to have faith and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai if you're not an Israelite. Yeah, so it's not an actual physical thing. It's, it's a spiritual thing. The spirit bear, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and that goes back to the curses too. That the Lord said he was going to scatter uh, scatter the nation amongst all nations. So right now, it's not a, a physical thing. You know, it ain't a, it ain't, you don't look at an Israelite, and be, even though the Lord gave us an actual physical look that Israelites have, you don't base it off look, off the looks. But the scriptures tell you that when um, Samuel went to anoint King David, he seen his brothers, and his brothers were more um, mightier in stature. And he looked at them as they were going to be the king that the Lord chose. But the Lord said, don't look on man outward, outwardly for the Lord. Don't look at, uh, the Lord does not look at man how man looks. He looks on the inward, the, the, the mind, the heart, the spirit, you know. So it's a, it's a spiritual thing. It says, the spirit of itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children and heirs, heirs of the mo Most High, and joint heirs with a Mashiach. Yeah, we're heirs of Yahweh Shai, you know, and we get. The, and if we're heirs with Yahweh Shai, we what does that mean? We received the same that Yahweh Shai was going to receive from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So just like how he's going to receive the kingdom, we're heirs as well. So we're going to receive. That's what we're going to receive as well. Yep. You know, be the eternal life, new bodies. You know, the heathen being uh, made subject unto us. We're going to get all those scriptures, Lord's will. Mm -hmm. So how they, these are the things that have been given to our Lord. Yep. And what good is ha having a kingdom if you don't have friends to share with? Yep. And that's who the elect are. The elect are Yahweh Shai's friends, and he's going to share his blessing with the elect. So we're going to be joint heirs and we receive the glory and the kingdom and dominion and rulership of the earth. Now it says, and if children and heirs, heirs of the most high and joint heirs with a Mashiach, if so be, now this is the key thing, if so be that we suffer with him, that we that we may be also glorified together. Yeah, just like the, 
just like the scriptures say, not quoting it verbatim, but pretty much, uh, you know, pre, uh, the servant is not greater than the master. So all the things that Yahweh Shai suffered and went through, through the spirit, we're going to go through similar as well, yeah, you know, yeah. as far as like being, being uh, persecuted for the truth's sake. And that's the times that we are actually coming into, you know, as things continue to get worse in society, what do you think is going to happen to the uh, the men who who's been openly proclaiming the the um, the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the faith? Yeah. You know, you basically making yourself a target because here it is Esau. We already know he has a general target list with the uh, whole FEMA camp thing and all that. He has a general list, but really, who's Esau's main focus? You know, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because we're the Israelites, mm -hmm. and specifically, he's focused on the ones that believe. Because the ones who don't believe, you know, it's, you already you already done for it, pretty yeah. much. You don't have to focus on you. Yeah, you already been conquered. Yep. The ones that believe, those are the threat, the biggest threats to his empire. Because our uprising means that he's going down, the downfall of his empire. Mm -hmm. Thus, Revelations chapter, uh, what's it, 11, said, Great fear fell upon them when they seen the dead body of Yahweh Shai be risen up. Yep. Which is spiritually the, the, the nation of Israel coming back to this truth. Just like it's, um, Wisdom and Solomon, the fifth chapter about, you know, it speaks about us, you know, professing Yahweh Bashim Shai boldly before our, the face of our enemies, you know? And that's what we're doing now because here it is, we know Esau's agenda, we know he's, he's uh, planning, planning against us, the elites, all right? Specifically, yet what do we do? We still proclaim the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai because we don't fear man, we fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yep. Or the scriptures tell you that don't fear man, uh, the man that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy both soul and body in hell, which is the Most High, mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashamal Shai. So we're not to fear. First and foremost, who's who's this nigga Esau is an actual tool that the Lord is using. See, we understand all these things. We understand that Esau is not giving his power on his own. Really, the scriptures say, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yep. This is the Most High using this devil on the left-hand side to punish two-thirds of his people. So we understand these things. And we also understand that the Lord is going to have a hedge and a protection around the righteous. The, the one third that have come back to um, his pretty much repent, repentance, you know, come back to repentance, come back to the truth, come back to uh, basically doing what's required of you to receive that ultimate salvation. Mm -hmm. Now, this is uh, First Peter's to back up the point. First Peter's chapter four. 4 verse 1 For as much then as Amashiach have suffered for us in the flesh Arm yourself likewise with the same mind Yeah, you gotta arm yourself likewise with the same mind Alright Just like it goes into in Sirach the second chapter You know, preparing your soul for temptation Because what did Yahweh Shai have to go through? You know, he went through many temptations Alright, and that was the man who was perfect upon the earth You know, didn't go off not once Yet, we got to arm ourselves in the same mind As far as of being prepared, preparing ourselves, you know, spiritually and mentally for the hard times to come, the, the real test, you yep. know, because the things that we go through now, yeah, they're, they're trials and tribulations, yet the, the real trials and tribulations are going to start when um, um, the time of Jacob's trouble comes. Yeah, the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the scriptures say to try everybody that dwells on the earth. Mm -hmm. So every living soul is going to be tried in that day. Just that the elect, the reason why we're going through the fire now, so we won't be judged with the world, because everybody yeah. gonna have to feel that fire. Yeah. We, the things that we're going through now is pretty much is building us up. You know, that's uh, I think that's what endure, the word endure is. You know, to pretty much is like you, it's building you up. The yep. things that you go through now, that's it's, you know, it's building you up. Your resistance, it's, you know. It's, it's, go ahead. I was gonna say it's making you stronger. Yep. yep. Just like in the game, like you, you keep on fighting the stronger, or like you know, uh, if you know the show, like Dragon Ball Z, every time Goku fought a stronger person, that made him stronger. You know, going against some something that was stronger against him. Because if you just fight going against the same level thing, you're only gonna stay at that one level. So it's gonna get more intense, but ultimately it's preparing you for that day. Because like the brother said, that's gonna be the, the hour of temptation. That's gonna be that day that tries everybody, and it's a, it's not gonna be a, a just a simple test. You know, it's gonna it's gonna uh, be hard for you, even in that time. It's gonna be difficult. Yet the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gonna be with you to not fall subject to that temptation. You know, like the masses of our people, they will, because they haven't they haven't really been going through anything. The things that they go through now is the troubles of the world because they're they're in the world. Yep. You know, the things that we go through, we're suffering. Like the scriptures say, we're suffering for righteousness' sake. Yep. They're just suffering because they're wicked in the world. 
Like the scriptures say, he that departed from evil make of himself a prey. Mm -hmm. We departed from this wicked world. What happened? We become a prey to the world, meaning these demons are attacking you. The Lord uh, lets these demons uh, every once in a while, you know, uh, try you, you know. Read the book of Job. An example, the Lord had a bet in the heavens with the spiritual demon Satan to test Job, you know, test his integrity. And he, he uh, pretty much, he overcame the test. And what happened? He got everything he lost back a uh, hundredfold. So we have to have the same mind frame that being in this truth, you're going to you're gonna go through shit. You're going to be pushed to the brink of insanity. You know, you're going to go through financial issues. You're going to go through uh, maybe me mental issues, health problems. Just w w I'm just naming different things. A every brother varies. But it's not for your destruction. It's, it's part of that fiery trial you have to go through, you know? Mm -hmm. Whether it, 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 your boss coming against you, your work problems or uh, family issues or just different things that are uh, you would never go through before you came into this ministry is because you're being tried. And the scriptures say as gold is tried in the fire, so is acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So if you're going through these trials and these tribulations, that means the Lord has found you acceptable to go through. Yep. And ultimately, he's not going to put you to, through more than you can't handle. So just like he didn't put his son through more than he, he couldn't handle. He knew his son would be able to bear that burden, yep. which was, a, was the heaviest burden a man could bear, laying his life down for the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Going through three hours of excruciating pain, being humiliated. Here it is. You are the first spirit created, the son of the Most High. He could have just said, man, I, I got the spiritual power. I'll take you all out. This is my, he knew he had to lay his life on the line. Lay his life down for that for that moment in time to be accepted, um, um, pretty much be, be put in second in command under his father. You know, so the things that we go through, the hell we catch, you know, we're, we're actually being purified so we can be um, pretty much be worthy of receiving that position that we're going to receive. Because being a member of the elect, that ain't no light thing. You're going to be made a ruler of the universe. We ain't going to be just regular people. We're going to be actual kings of the universe. We're going to receive the pretty much the uh, the highest position that an Israelite can receive. You got something? Yeah, if I had a quick precept. Okay. It's, uh, Hebrews 12, and I'm going to start at verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Yeah, we have fathers of our flesh that corrected us. Like the scriptures say, one of the commandments, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he grows old, they shall never depart from it. So we have had fathers. For those of us that have fathers, because some of us, we under the curses too. Some Jake didn't grow up with fathers. Uh, whether your mother chastised you or what. But the scriptures is referring to fathers. We have had fathers that corrected us in this flesh. Pretty much, you know, you go off according to their standards. They, you may get a whooping or whatever it may be. It may put you in punishment. They did that according to their pleasure. You got it. Mm -hmm. And we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Yeah, so we gave our parents reverence because, you know, Jake, a lot of times Jake was on some bullshit as, as children. Them demons get, get hopping on you. you. You start acting a damn fool, you know. Parents, parents, you getting bad grades, whatever, you're acting a fool in school, that belt come out, get that ass whooping. You grow older, you get older, you say, like, damn, I'm glad I, I went through that because I, I would have been a damn nigga out here, you know. So you, you gave them reverence according to the, uh, to the, to the world, you know, to the flesh. But shall we uh, not give how much more to Heavenly Father for punishing us righteously? A lot of times your parents will punish you for things that is not even uh, really punishable, you know. It's not even that. It's not even wicked, you know. Your mother whoop you because uh, you changed, uh, you switched the TV channel or some shit, you know, or, or you ate, you ate uh, an extra cookie or some shit, you know, just some bullshit. You know, a lot of Jake be getting fucked up over some some bullshit, but they punish you according to their pleasure. The Most High is punishing us according to His will, so we can be purified. That's why the scriptures tell you, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him." Ultimately, we know that the punishment we're going through, we, it's, it's worthily, um, it's wor as we deserve it. Because we, 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 we sin. We're sinners, you know? Not only in this life, but the past life. That's why when you say your prayers up, you got to ask the Most High to forgive you for your sins in this life and the past life. You got it out. Yeah, for they verily, for a few days, chastened us after their own pleasure. Yeah, they chastened us after their own pleasure. Like we was giving examples, things that they didn't like according to their rules. Some more judgment. Got it out. 
but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Yeah, but he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness. So we're going through the hell so we can partake in the holiness. What's the holiness? The Lord having mercy on us. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob and we yet choose Israel. When all hell breaks loose, the Lord has that hedge of protection around you through, through the hour of temptation where you make it through these troubling times and ultimately you make it on that chariot with Yahweh Shai and the angels. And we, we the, the greatest family reunion of all time, we'd be back with our brother once again. We don't have to see each other in, these lower, in, the, in the lower state that we're in now, these ra raggedy bodies. We get to see, uh, uh, we get to see ourselves who we truly are, our, 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 our highest potential that we can reach the Lord changing us, making us righteous, putting us in the new, the new bodies. We being back joined with Yahweh Shai, you know? Got it out. Yep. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Yeah, so when you're going through the hell, it's not uh, it's not uh, enjoyable, it's grievous. You know, you can't going through it suffering, whether it be uh, physically, you got, got elements in your body mentally. You're dealing with spirits attacking your, 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 your flesh to where you feel like you're going insane. It, it doesn't feel good, you know? But you go through these things to call upon you, how about Shemal Shah to give you the strength to get through these things, you know? I think it was a quote Bruce Lee said. Um, well, pray for, not for an easy life, but pray for the strength to endure a hard one. Yeah, pray for the strength to endure a hard one. That's what the Most High is doing with his elect, giving us the strength to endure these hard, the, the, the hardness, you know, the, uh, pretty much you're being hardened. Cause the life, really, life in general in America is hard. But like the brothers going into, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave us the spirit to endure living in Babylon. Because yeah. look at everybody else who don't have that spirit. They, they're they through all here. You know, mental health at an all time high. People like uh, depressed, anxiety up, all type of stuff. They, they, they can't endure the hell. And things are only going to get worse from this point on. It's not, it's not getting any, as, as a Babylon falls, it's not getting any easier. But what the Lord is doing for the elect is he's hardening them. So as you go through different things, it, it doesn't phase you like it once would, you know, when you first went through it. Yep. So you're becoming stronger and stronger mentally. And that, that links over to scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The knowledge of this truth and strength is your mind. So the hell we go through, the different things we go through. It gives you an experience, and you get through the hell by applying what the scriptures, you know? Yep. You got it out. It says, nevertheless, afterward, yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Yeah. So at first, it, like the brother's going into, it's not it's not grievous. It's, it's hell, shit. The shit gonna suck. You ain't gonna even, the last thing that's on Jake's mind when you going through something is like, man, this is this is for my good, you know? <laughs> thinking about what the, what the fuck you're going through in that moment, you know? But then afterwards, you know, some time passed and stuff that you went through whatever you went through and all that. Then you look back on it and you like, man, it actually, you know, built me up and made me better off than I was back then when I was going through that hard time or whatever it was you were dealing with. Yep. Like you had quoted Dragon Ball Z. I was thinking about, um, they, there's something in the show called the hyperbolic chamber. The hyperbolic chamber is like pretty much a, um, a chamber where they train time is slowed down there so it's not moving like regular time so they're able to uh, train to the hardest level they can change the uh, atmosphere they, they, when you look at it they going through hell in that damn hyperbolic chamber you know days on and weeks on end of this hardcore training catching nothing but hell but when when they get ready for that that, that fight for those that know are familiar with the anime when they get ready for that fight they they on a, on a god level because they've been training they've been going through that catching the hell the afflictions you know that, you're just using that as an example. We've been built up, so when that t hour of temptation come, we're going to be able to get through it, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, was that that was it? Yeah, that was it on that. I'm going to jump back to this. Uh, 1 Peter's 4, 1 Peter's chapter 4, verse 1, For as much then as Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, or as much then as Amashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So we know Yahweh Shai had to suffer in the flesh. Arm yourself, being a servant of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, have this mind frame that you're going to come into the truth and, and suffer, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I remember the elder apostle said, um, Apostle Sahar told them, when they, you know, when they were in, newly coming into the truth, he told the apostles, look, you got to learn to love to suffer. And they kind of looked at Apostle Sahar like he was crazy when he said that. But as time progressed in the truth, he under, they understood and got the um, experience why the apostle said that this truth is about suffering, you know? 
there ain't no other, uh, there ain't no other way around it. You know, it ain't gonna come into the truth like the church will say. You're gonna prosper. You the Lord just gonna bless you upon blood. You're gonna be tried. You know, now the fine gold they gonna get through it. Now the, the dross, the the the, uh, the wood, they go they gonna fall short. You know, and that's just part of the walk. That's why we gotta pray that we are of that number, the elect, and give diligence to make our calling and election sure. That's just how the movie is set. S the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of men come into this truth and they can't bear, they can't take the heat, you know. They get The hell gets too much and they just fall out, you know. They drop the ball, so to speak, but that's just how the uh, story is played. So you, whatever you're going through, you got to endure that, you know. It says, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So you suffer in the flesh, you would you cease from sin, because we understand we're suffering in the flesh because of our sins. So you you want to walk that tight rope, you know, you want to walk rock that um that you want to stay on that narrow path, you know, mm -hmm. the straight gate. It says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in in the flesh to the lust of men, which that's what these people are in the world doing. They're living to the they're living in the flesh. Especially two thirds of our own people that living according to the pleasing the flesh. They're not living according to the spirit. It says that he, so we're going through the hell that we, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the most, but to the will of Yahweh Bashi So you ain't supposed to be basically like these people in the world. Because look at everybody that's li living according to the lust of the flesh, you know. Where has that gotten him? That hasn't gotten him anywhere, but um, you know, pretty much destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, cause pretty much living after the flesh, meaning you're living a life of sin, and we know the wages of sin is death. You pretty much living a destructive life that's yeah. gonna lead you to your uh, being put to death. The scriptures tell you they that sold to the flesh shall reap corruption. You know, cause that's what are you gonna? What's the what's beneficial for your spirit by you doing all these carnal things? That's not even you know good for you. It's, it's no good that come out of it. Yeah, yeah. Especially now, the times that we in is just making it just makes you worse off. But the but you know the true believers of Yahweh Bashem Shai, by you sowing to the spirit, you want to reap in the spirit. You know, so you you're able to still be you sort of speak in a, a positive mood for the most part when all this all the stuff is really getting bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, the scriptures say uh, at destruction, that's in the book of Job. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh because mm -hmm. we know what's what, what, what's coming to the earth. We're speaking about the hour temptation. It's a famine is coming to the earth. Martial law, all hell is going to break loose. Society itself is going to collapse. Esau is going to uh, crash the economy. The world as we know it is going to come to a to an end. It's going to be a whole different world out here, a whole different reality. You know, it's going to be like the, the show, The Last of Us, mm -hmm. The Purge. It's going to be like a scene out of a, out of a apocalyptic, apocalyptic movie. All hell breaking loose. Is this even reality, so to speak? So we're going to need a divine intervention in a mind to get a strong mental state to get through these things, these times, you know? Because all those shows that you mentioned, when all, you know, when, when they in those scenarios or whatnot, who are the main people that always be the main survivors and like kind of making it through? The people, like you said, that have a strong mind. Yep, yep. And everybody else who had a weak mind, pretty much they died off. They died off. They didn't off. make it through. And they showed you that in the book of Eli. Eli had the, um, the mind frame to get through the... Um, those troubling times. What did he have in him? He had the scriptures. Mm -hmm. That's a b beautiful movie to watch. And the whole time at the end of the movie, uh, you know, if you've seen it for the first time, you wouldn't know that he's actually actually blind. The whole time in the movie, he was walking in the spirit. He had yeah. the, he had the word in him, you know. So they they show you that. And, and what they show you too, the women were seeking, trying to get with him, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, go thus fulfilling that ch uh, chapter Isaiah chapter four verse one: Seven women shall take hold of one man, because in the, in the hour where all hell is breaking loose, and they see this man is getting through the times he's uh, overcoming the adversities. You know, they, you can clearly see the Lord is with him. Yep. They gonna they gonna see that light and want to cle cleave on to that light. Thus, that scripture being fulfilled. You know, so. Uh, let me jump back to this. Romans chapter 8, verse uh, verse uh, 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with a Mashiach. So we, know, we, we spoke about the suffering that we have to go through, joint heirs. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Mm -hmm. Now the suffering ain't forever. Eventually, the suffering leads to the glory. Yeah, how was he suffered on the cross? What did that lead to? The glory. 
where is he at? He's on the right hand of the Father. And the, the scriptures say everything has been made subject unto him that's in heaven. And he, when he returns on the earth, everything on the earth is going to be made subject unto him. The scriptures say every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Mm -hmm. So if we suffer with the Lord, the same thing he, the, he that he's inherited from the Father, Lord's will, we're going to inherit those same things, you know? So the, it's a balance with the Lord. It's not all about just suffering. It's, it's, the suffering is going to lead to the glory, you know? Now it says, for the earnest expectation waited for the manifestation. Of, yeah, let me go a verse up. It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So what we're going through, it's not worthy to be compared with the glory. I mean, like you said, no chastening at the, in the present seeming to be joyous, but grievous. Yeah. But at the moment, it don't feel good, but that's not worthy to be compared with the glory. What's the Most High going to do for his elect, for his chosen people? You know, the scriptures call the Most High the first author of beauty. He's going to elevate his elect on the level beyond comprehension. That's what scriptures say, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard. So just you just got to endure. It says for the... It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. So the creature is waiting, the whole creation is waiting for the elect to get back into power. Because once the elect get back into power on our joint ears with Yahweh Shai, what are they going to do? Put the earth back in order. Mm -hmm. That's the scriptures say, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Why is the earth in mourning? Because we got a wicked man ruling, Esau. When we get in the power through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, righteousness is going to flourish throughout the earth. Thus, the people are going to rejoice because the earth is going to be doing what, it's, what, it's, what it was created to do, you know, which is be fruitful and multiply, you know, and pretty much be brought back to how it was in the ancient times, the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. Idam, paradise. It's, the earth is going to be an actual paradise once again. Now it says... For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Yeah, so we were amazed. These bodies, basically, we we going to go off, yep. you know, but so that we can be subject to hope. Praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to deliver us, man. Yeah, we subject to the hope of Yahweh Shai delivering us, you know. The hope that the Lord is going to have mercy and fulfill the prophecy that he said the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and we yet choose Israel. So we're subject to the hope of, of the Lord delivering us, you know. So it said the creature was made subject to vanity. So the Lord made us go off, not willingly, not by our own will. He put us in the chains of darkness mm -hmm. that are subject to sin, subject to the spiritual demon Satan having access to the flesh. So not by our own will. This is all part of the learning experience of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. The Most High had to put us on a low level and we had to learn what good from evil. We had to learn what it is to disobey his commandments and what it is the judgments that come from that, which is the Lord putting the, the heathen nations over us, you know? The Lord taking our glory away, cutting our time back, our stature, because we were created to uh, be eternal. But what, what brought us to uh, be immortal? Sin. So ultimately, when Yahweh Shai come back, comes back, he's going to take away sin from the nation of Israel, but it starts with the elect. And it's going to get into it. It says, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. Yeah, that, like your brother was going into, that bondage of corruption these bodies, you know, because these bodies are subject to going off. You can't be perfect. And then on top of that, these bodies ain't making it into the kingdom. Yep. You know, we're going to receive those those uh, those uh, celestial bodies, you know. Yeah, well, well extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial bodies. All right, we're going to, when, when Yahweh Shai comes back and deliver us, all right, these bodies, we're going to be changed, like the scriptures say, in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, because these corrupt bodies ain't going with us. Yeah, yeah. These bodies getting left behind. Yeah, we're not even going to take this flesh with us. So pretty much when we leave out of here, the only thing we're leaving out of here is with our spirits. And that's mm -hmm. why the Lord is putting us through the trials and tribulations, because we're being purified. So the Lord, when he comes, he can find... Um, he could find a lamb without spot and blameless. He pretty much, we're purified. We're, we're, we're at our purest form, you know? So it says, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the, of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together unto now. So the whole creation is suffering. Everybody on the earth under the sun is catching nothing but hell because a wicked man is in power. 
It says, and not not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, the first fruits of the spirit, the elect, the first spirits created. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. That's what we're waiting. That's what we're patiently waiting for. That's the grand finale. The grand finale of catching our hell, suffering, the Lord coming back, delivering you, the Lord changing you. That's the good because your body is your tool to experience life. Mm -hmm. The grand finale is the Lord putting your spirit into a superhuman body. You being made extraterrestrial. You pretty much being like the most high on the earth, a God, you know. The grand finale is the most high, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, turning the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, into gods, you know. Matter of fact, let me get that way ended on that. Let's get that real quick. Is that Philippians? One of my favorite scriptures. Uh, Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Mm -hmm. So these bodies are going to be changed. You know, we ain't, these bodies getting left behind, these corrupt bodies getting left behind with this corrupt society, yep. you know. It's gonna, when Yahweh Shai comes back, we're going to be changed. When we get delivered, those chariots beam us up, the elect from the four corners of the earth. All right. You go, it's going to, like the scriptures say, it's going to happen in an instant. As you're getting beat up, you instantly being changed into that new body. Yeah, the scriptures say, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump. The last trump is when the Lord uh, uh, causes those missiles to get shot over here in America mm -hmm. and various other parts of the earth. And the Lord sends the angels and he delivers the elect, get being the body here. So that's what the hell is leading to, salvation, you know. Uh, pretty much the hell is leading to glory, you know, the victory. Mm -hmm. But the elect already has the victory. It just has to be made manifest because the elect are predestined to receive this glory, you know. So you just got to endure, endure uh, uh, hardness as a good soldier of a mashiach, you know. Just whatever you're going through, uh, take it cheerfully and be uh, patient when you, you are changed to a lower state. Like the scriptures say, gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So if you catching this hell, you're going through different um, things within your walk. That means the Most High has found you acceptable to go through these things. And ultimately, if you're chosen to receive that mercy and receive that glorious kingdom and be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, you know. Mm -hmm. So you just got to endure all things and, and pray, keep the faith, you know. Do what's required of us to do as Israelites in this truth, you know. Unless you have some, you know. Uh, like you said, you just keep enduring because like we read earlier, you know, it doesn't seem joyous when you're going through whatever you're going through. You may, it ain't going to seem pleasurable in that moment, but yet you have to meditate upon the scriptures and understand that it's the reason behind it happening. Whether you understand it or not in that moment, it's, it's more than likely for your good, you know? Yeah, yeah, because the Most High, you got to remember, you got to remember, we're talking about the Most High himself. The very hairs of your head are numbered. He, he has your life plan. Before you even it was thought of, you know, so everything you're going through has already been worked out. You just got to ride that wave, you know, mm -hmm. ride that righteous wave and, and don't forsake the Lord, you know, because that's the whole goal of Satan to get you. For, we, that's the whole bet that he had with um with uh, him and Satan and most high and Satan had the bet in heaven against Job that he would curse, curse him to his face. That's the whole goal of Satan to get you to uh, curse the most high, fall out the truth become a, a regular citizens of the world and be destroyed you know mm -hmm. you can't fall fall for that spirit you know yeah. you know so lord's word this lesson was edifying we want to give all praises and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim and kawadash shalom shalom